Let's try to do the merge sort algorithm with a deck of playing cards. This video is meant to be an introduction to merge sort, but further coding practice will be needed to truly understand how the recursive calls work. As a reminder, recursion is when a function calls itself. As you can see, the merge sort code calls itself twice with array A and array B. So let's take a look at the merge sort algorithm. Merge sort begins by taking the array of cards and splitting it in half. This process repeats until you are left with several arrays with a single item in each array. Now we begin sorting by taking the first pair of cards, which are the 8 and the 3. Since 3 is less than 8, it will be sorted to the front of the new array that has a length of 2 cards. This process is repeated with the next pair of cards. And then the same with the 9 and 7. 7 will be sorted before 9 in their new array of length 2. And lastly, the 6 and 10 will be placed into an array together. In the second iteration, we do the same process by merging the array of length 2 into a new array of length 4. In this example, the 3 will be first, then the 4, the 5, and 8 last. We do the same with the second half of cards and sort them into a new array of length 4. So we combine two arrays of length 2 to create one new array of length 4. Notice how we are working with two arrays just like the recursive function calls in the pseudocode. Lastly, we do the final merge by creating one array with all eight cards and sorting those together. Once we have a single array with all items, we have worked our way out of the recursion calls and now have a sorted array. One side note, if there's an odd amount of items in the array, the sort still works. One array will just have one less item than the others on each step until they're all merged together at the very end. The complete merge sort process can be diagrammed like this example. However, it does not really show us the path of the recursive function calls. This video is meant to give you a general idea on how merge sort works, but I encourage you to try the code and trace the recursion calls to get a greater understanding on what is going on. So that's your playing card introduction to the merge sort algorithm.